Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working uh, on the sports. So this is going to be a two-part video because I don't really like doing videos that are over 10, 11 minutes long. So I'm going to make this two parts. So the first part you're going to see here, of course, today's Friday. You'll see that today. The second part will probably be out on Sunday. And what we're going to be doing is doing the Dynatech uh, ignition install. Got a new fuel line that's going to go in. We got to finish working on the tank, putting a new pet cock in that and giving that tank a final flush. Uh, we got a static time the Sportster, then after everything's done, we're going to time the Sportster. We're going to check the timing, actually, with a timing light. So don't forget to subscribe, and uh, let's get to work on the Sportster. Okay, so we could go into here. Uh, we've got to disconnect this. Let's see if I can see under here. We get a light to put under there. Okay, maybe you can see that a little better. I know I can. So we got to push that in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this way back. So this ignition module is no good, but I do want the pigtail because uh, I might have to use that for something in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to cut that back probably up around here. Should have got my other cutter. So here we have this piece here. I'm going to clean this off in a little bit, but in the meantime, we can pull this out. There we go. So we got that out. Now, the directions for this Dynatech say you have to use this gold colored cup which has part number oops uh, what is it eight three two four zero two dash eight three so you have to have this gold colored one the silver colored one which is for the other ignition module won't work so if you have the an earlier sports there you'll have to get this gold colored cup to go in there all right so now i'm going to feed uh, this through We'll see how well that goes in uh, This pink line on the wiring harness and then uh, the white and the pink go to the coil and uh, The purple goes to the VOES So there's not many <clears throat> Not many wires on this Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the coil in, and this is a, uh, it says high quality molded epoxy coil for 12 volt ignition, increased peak spark voltage over 20%, direct OEM, offers improved starting, prevents speed misfires, increased fuel mileage, and improves overall performance, one year of warranty. So, I think this came from JP Cycles. Dual fire coil. There's the part number. This is a twin power. So now, according to the uh, up here, it says primary core resistance must be in the 2.5 to 3.5 range. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the secondary coil. So if we do the right, so see we're at 3.3. So it needs to be 2.5 to 3.5 ohms. We are at 3.4 ohms. Now on the secondary, uh, we go up to 20,000. It should be around 11,000 if I remember right. So we do this where the plugs are, and that is 11 right there. So it keeps dropping between 11 and 10, 9, but it's 11. So, all right, so this coil is going to be good to go for the module. So let's get this installed. Okay, so I couldn't find a coil relocation kit to relate this, to relocate this coil down here because it's got the left side pet cock, uh, they all seem to work on the right side, so we're going to uh, take this off.
Okay, so let's figure out where we're at in the dual fire installation. So dual fire just use one um, coil. So we've already removed the stock module and put the position sensor in, fed the wires through the hole in the engine case and seat the ignition. We did that, rotate until the timing pick up nearest to the switches that the mark made in step one, replace the screws, we did that. Remove wires from the coil. Use a test light or meter to find the white wire that has 12 volt when both the key and the run stop switches are on. Later models only have a single white black wire. Attach this and the white wire from the 2000i to the one of the primary terminals. Attach the pink wire from the 2000i to the other primary terminal. So let's go find where that wire is. Okay, so we got the key on. These are the two wires for the coil right here. We find a decent ground somewhere up, maybe this one. All right, so we've got the run switches on. So that one doesn't give us any indication. That one does. Okay, so we got a light here, which indicates 12 volts on that one. Nothing on that one. So this is the one right here that we want to attach the white wire to the harness. So I'm going to stick that right here for now so I remember what one that is. Okay, so what um, we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to feed these wires up through. You can cut these wires. Uh, so let me look and see where I want to route these. Alright, so let me show you where this is. So, see it's right here routing up. I've got it routing to the top. It's right there, it's that line right there. And of course I'll wire tie this all the way up. And then we get to the coil, we get the VOES, and then we'll be all set with that. Okay, so I changed it from this side. I can run it right along here with this wiring harness, and I can still get to the coil and the VOES. And that's as far as we have to go, is the coil, so. Okay, so what we are at, uh, right right here. It says attach the pink wire from the TAC to the 2000i green wire. So I don't exactly know, because the pink wire in the wiring diagram goes to the coil, but it says do not connect the TAC wire to the coil, or damage may result. So uh, here we're going to go to uh, the pink wire, attach this when both the key and run sub switches are on. Later models only have a single wire, white black wire, attach this and the white wire from the 2000i to one of the primary terminals and then attach the pink wire from the 2000i to the other primary terminals. So we'll do that right now. We've got the pink and white wire. So we've got to strip these. And we have it on that end. Do just a little more. All right, so now we have this one which uh, was the positive one, one that had fire to it. I'll have to cut back some of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this wire out of this harness here, I think. Well, I can actually fit it right there. It's okay, all right. It doesn't really matter what side this terminal goes on. All right, it's gonna fit right. And it doesn't matter what side you put it on. So we're going to put this one here. And we need the white one to go up here. And bring that down like that. Let me get these off so I can do something with my hands. Get that. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got that part done. I'll wire tie these. Uh, the blue one we are not going to use. I'm going to tuck that back in there. But I got to find out what. Um, I think there's two wires to this VOES. Let me check. I think the purple actually goes to the VOES, doesn't it? Let me look. Okay, so we did. I'm going to have to check on that tack wire. I'll have to see if I can find the instructions for that. Uh, the tack that I've got. So it says remove the wire from the VOES vacuum operator electrical switch. Connect the 2000i purple wire with the small 187 receptacle terminal. If the VOS is not installed, see the tuning tips on the last page. The blue wire is left unconnected. That's if you have two coils. So let me uh, check on that VOES. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up uh, for part one uh, of this video. I really didn't expect on doing uh, a two-part video, but things just take longer than they normally would take. Uh, like I'm installing the coil on this and the v a new VOES switch. Uh, there's also going to be a new fuel line put in that I got to put the tank back on, the pet clock, everything like that. So I'm going to break this up into two videos just because I really don't like making videos longer than... Uh, 10, 11, 12 minutes other than that. So I'm going to try to release the second part uh, a couple of days after this first one. I won't wait a whole week like I normally do and just upload on Friday. The video you're seeing now, of course, is going to be on Friday and I'll try to unload part two, upload part two uh, this coming weekend. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you uh, in part two.